reporting to you live. Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about getting started on Fiverr. I have been freelancing on Fiverr for a little under a year now and since I got started I have grown to a point where it has become my primary source of income. In this video I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I would have done differently if I was just starting out now as well as some of the most important things that I've learned along the way about starting your Fiverr profile. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Fiverr, it is an online marketplace where freelancers can sell their services. Fiverr is amazing because you can pretty much sell anything through their platform. Some fun ideas that I've seen are digital illustrations, voiceovers, and video editing services. Step one is to sign up for Fiverr, obviously. Um, Fiverr has the same sign up process for both buyers and sellers. So you don't have to commit to either one when you create your profile. So obviously you're going to want to click join. You can sign up with your Gmail, your Apple account, or even your Facebook account. Next, they're going to ask you to choose a username and a password. This is where a lot of people start to get tripped up. Remember, you cannot change your username after you set it. So it's important to get it right the first time around. Otherwise, you're going to have to delete your account and start fresh. But here's my advice. It doesn't really matter what username you assign yourself because this isn't going to make or break your success on Fiverr. If you're just starting out, I would recommend keeping it simple and straightforward. Maybe just include your first, middle, or last name along with a few of your favorite numbers. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you already have a set niche that you're intent on sticking to, then you can go ahead and set a username that suits that niche. This might even help with SEO terms. For example, if you're joining Fiverr as a digital illustrator, setting your username as your first name illustrations might help you rank better on the search results. Again, this is not totally necessary, but it might be something that you want to think about. So as you can see, my username is Evelyn Tarot. And I chose this because um, I was on quite a tarot kick at the time that I created my account and I thought that I was going to do tarot readings on here. So um, it turned out that I did not, but I just share this with you because it goes to show that it doesn't really matter what your username is, people will still try your services and leave your reviews if you are good at what you say you do. So, you know, don't overthink it too much and you'll be fine. The next step is to customize your profile so that your clients know that you're a real person. This is where you can really let your creativity shine so to help your profile stand out among the content others. writer. The first thing you're going to want to do is set a profile picture. Clients want to know who they're talking to. That's why it's so important to have a clear headshot set as your profile picture. I recommend staying away from mirror selfies or group photos because your profile picture is going to be really small on the site. So for that reason, it can't reflect a ton of detail. Just a regular selfie in a neutral, well-lit area that shows your smiling, helpful face is going to get the job done. And don't overthink this too much because you can always change it later. I would the recommend next step is to set your name, headline title. So this is going to be the first the thing that clients you see have, when they head to your profile. Things that you're passionate about. You can what choose you specialize as like a catchy slogan, and what or you can, you can just do what I clients. did and make it your professional Here's title. Here's a peek at my description so you can get an idea of what to include. I chose this because it's short, sweet, and it gives my clients a clear picture of what I can offer them on Fiverr. Next, you're going to want to write your personal bio. This is another big thing that your future clients are going to look at when they are deciding whether or not they want to do business with you. It's also a really good opportunity to introduce yourself to your future clients and tell them what you're all about. As a new seller on Fiverr, it's probably going to be difficult to figure out what is or is not worth putting in your personal bio. 
but here are some talking points. To do this, you're going to want to start by taking the new seller course on Fiverr. Truth be told, there is no one-size-fits-all formula for creating the perfect Fiverr bio, but these points are a really good place to start. My recommendation is to only cover the points that are relevant to your service and can help your client get to know you as a professional. Of course, feel free to add a little bit of personality to your bio. This can help you familiarize yourself with your clients and make a good impression. Now it's time to gear so up our teacher English clients. test, social media marketing test, and the customer service test. This course is 100% free and will equip you with a lot of strategies and tools that you need to run a successful freelancing business on Fiverr. Of course, there's going to be things that you probably already knew going into the course, but I would say it still added a lot of value to my services and the way that I respond to clients and deal with order disputes, as well as operate the platform in general. Plus, once you complete the course, Fiverr will award you with a badge that displays on your profile. This will show clients that you're the real deal. Taking quizzes is another great way to display your skills to future clients. Which quizzes you take varies depending on what sort of services that you are selling. In my case, I sell a monthly content writing service. That said, there is a whole range of quizzes that you can take through Fiverr to verify your skills and make your page more appealing to future clients. The last tip that I'm going to share with you today is to proofread everything on your Fiverr profile. The quickest way to scare away new clients is with improper grammar and spelling mistakes. Make sure all of the information on your profile is clearly stated and to the point. No need to get fancy. Your clients are just looking for a straightforward description of what you do and what you can offer them. So that's what you need to know to get started on Fiverr and start your seller's profile. Once you complete all of these steps, you can go ahead and start creating your first gigs, which we'll get into later. Thanks for watching.